This is Sisyphus, a self-landing model rocket that uses a second motor to descend like SpaceX. Or maybe not. Oh man. So, here's the goal of this project. So the rocket's going to ascend with thrust vector control to stabilize its flights. Then it's going to eject its ascent motor before deploying its landing legs and starting its descent burn like SpaceX. Then it's finally going to make a perfect smooth landing, in theory. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at the design, starting with the thrust vector controller. This is what changes the direction of the thrust in order to keep the rocket pointing up. But if you're doing both ascent and descent, you need to have two motors to fire. That's where this motor loading concept comes in. <laughs> So the motor would load from the back and get locked into the chamber of the thrust vector controller. But because of friction and insufficient springs, it usually jammed. Oh man. So I had to move over to this much simpler design where the ascent motor is just friction fit to the bottom of the descent motor. As you can see, this one works a little bit better. It just shoots off and then the descent motor burns. Okay, so next we got the uh, landing legs, and these just open by cutting a rubber band that holds them together. Um, so they lock into place. Here we can see some suspension testing, but it was way too heavy at the time. And this is the electronics bay, where I store my electronics. For this I had to do prototyping, PCB design, and finally I had Impulse 1.4. This was my first design for a printed circuit board on this rocket, and these are the pyros for igniting the motors, but they didn't work at all. So after lots of testing, I integrated it all into a PCB, and this part of the process really sucked. It took like two weeks. Um, but finally, I had Impulse 2.1, and the pyros worked really well. Now moving on to the snack bay. Uh, this is where I store my cameras, which I take a uh, cool onboard video with, but they're also for storing snacks. Now moving on to the nose cone and parachute, and it's ejected with a spring. Alright, I think it's time to test this. Here I'm tuning the onboard gyro of the rocket, but I also tune the aerodynamics with my patented string and fan aero balancing technique. Now it's launch day, and uh, here I am loading the motors and setting it up, and then we run away. Oh, it's trying. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh, nail in the coffin, man. Gee, that sucked. Maybe it was because it was aerodynamically unstable. So I added a spacer to make it more stable, ideally. Um, and I did some more final testing, uh, gyro, uh, gimbal testing. Um, yeah, take two. Let's see what happens, right? <laughs> All right. Oh man, what a cool shot. Oh my God. Oh wow, yeah, that's nice, huh? Oh, it looks like it's going straight up. Oh, 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 oh man. I bet that rocket was destroyed after that. Okay, so I haven't succeeded yet, obviously, but I'd really appreciate some advice. Thanks.